اهلا بنات طيب معانا اثير وجدان وعبير وبيان صح؟ هذه صوت صوتكم كويس ولا؟ تسمعوني بنات ولا؟ مرحبا دكتور اي نسمعك اي خلاص طيب طيب uh, welcome back to the lecture you know we had the break for uh, more than two, two weeks because you know we know the coronavirus issue so uh, we will continue uh, the sixth chapter uh, maybe so you know uh, I told you uh, yesterday uh, so I, I recommend that you uh, you know you refresh your memory by Uh, reviewing what you have done uh, during the last lecture. I don't know if you did it or not, because it will help us a lot. Uh, you know, last time we have started uh, building the cash budget, right? We have studied, uh, you know, all sorts of operations made by the enterprise. These, uh, you know, operations or these, you know, uh, uh, dealings will make the, the firm Uh, receive money and at the same time disbursing, which is paying money, right? So we are trying to gathering, or collecting all these informations to build our cash budget, which is how cash will the firm need or how an extra cash will the firm produce by the end of each month? Because as we have agreed last time, a startup has to be treated differently than a mature firm. For a mature firm, we can allow uh, you know, uh, ourselves to make financial statements or pro forma financial statements yearly, right? But because the situation of startup is very fragile, so we have to, uh, you know, to build th these financial statements monthly, every month. So we, ha we can have closer loose look, uh, a closer look to the situation of the firm. The thing is that we have to monitor And it is to monitor the, the cash flow of the firm by the end of each month, uh, of each month. Because as you know, the startup suffers from you know a, a lack of source of financing. Unlike the mature firms, which have a lot of sources of financing, they can go public, they can issue new shares, they can issue bonds, they can contract debt from banks. Uh, uh, and all sorts of these you know, types of ex external financing. For the uh, you know, startups, the external financing sources are very limited. So uh, a startup cannot go public, it cannot issue shares, it cannot issue bonds, it can merely have uh, you know, a loan from a bank. So their options are very limited. So that's why we have to monitor the cash flow situation uh, uh, you know, uh, every month, monthly. So, this is, or this is, you know, the final thing that we had done last time, right? So, last time we have, uh, you know, uh, 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 built what we call the pro forma purchases, purchases schedule. We have scheduled also the wages and the commissions paid by the firm, right? Now, the final step is how to build the cash budget, right? So we have, so the, you know, the most important thing here that you have to gather all the information. You have not to forget, you have to avoid to forget, to, you know, forget uh, information. Because if you do so, you will make uh, uh, you know, a lot of mistakes building your cash budget. يعني أهم شيء في الاختبار مثلاً جاكم تمرين مثل هذا بنات. بتعرفوا أصعب شيء في التمرين هذه uh, هو الكمية معلومات اللي بتأخذها. تعطيك معلومات هائلة يعني. إذا نسيتي معلومة بس خلاص كل شيء يعني مش كل شيء يصير خطأ بس بس الخطأ بصير عالي. فنصيحتي لكم. Uh, if you have to you know to deal with such 
uh, problems or such exercises during the exams, you have to make a list of all the information that you are giving. If they can be to you, they will be able to كل ما تستعملوا معلومه فيهم سووا تشيك تشيك عليه انه خلاص استعملناها هذه عشان ما تنسوا ولا معلومه فيهم. مثلا احنا عندنا معلومات بخصوص السيلز اند هاو ذا فيرم از يو نو كولكتنج ذا بروسيدنج اوف ذا سيلز. وي هاف اولسو انفورميشن اباوت ويجز الاجور اند هاو ذا فيرم از بيينج ويجز انفورميشن اباوت انفنتوريز المخزون. اولسو هاف انفورميشن اباوت يو نو ديبريسيشن انفورميشن اباوت Uh, what else? But the purchases of the firm and a lot of information. So you don't, you have to be very careful to not forget any of these information that you are given during the exam. So the D, which is the cash budget here, is the summary of what we have done, you know, last time. So we'll start by the first one. So the D is the cash budget, right? Mizanit uh, <coughs> So the cash budget, so we have here the beginning cash balance, all right? We have for month for the months of April, May, June, July. Don't forget that we are currently in March, right? And these are forecasts, taqa'at, expectations. That's, that's why we call it pro forma financial statement. Let me go to pro forma, pro forma, and also that taqa'at. So, For April, we have here the beginning cash balance, which is $23,000, right? So from where we, we got this information? Actually, we got this information from the financial or the, from the balance sheet for the company by the end of the uh, um, uh, month of March. The initial balance balance sheet by the end of March, and we have here see twenty three thousand dollars as cash. So the cash available at the company by the end of March is the same cash available by the beginning of April, All right? And the end of March, the end of April. That's what we're supposed to do. Plus. Uh, remember, one of the information that were given to us uh, uh, in the exercise that there was a deal between the company management and one of the founder of the company, being Idart Sharik or one of the Sharik. They have dealt to that if the firm uh, has a shortage of cash, if the Sharik has a shortage of cash. The, ma- the managers have the right to ask for extra cash or for extra financing from this founder. You know, I found Moses had that with women, Yati, Yati, whom self, Wakad. In counterpart, Mukabel, the founder, you know, uh, uh, has put one condition that the firm should maintain a minimum cash equal to $23,000. Had a country for إذا استحقيت أعطيك يعني فلوس أنا بعطيك فلوس بس بنفس الوقت لازم تخلي عندك كاش أمان أقل شيء أقل شيء 23000 دولار فلازم نلاقي يعني في كل شهر أبريل ماي جون جولاي في كل شهر الكاش أتليست 23000 دولار أور مور هذا الاتفاق كان صار بين بين الاثنين سو ليتس جيت باك تو So this is, you know, the you know from uh, from where we go, we got this these twenty three thousand dollars. Now, once we have you know uh, established our beginning cash balance, يعني الكاش اللي عنا في شركة بداية كل شهر twenty three thousand dollars for April. Now we will add the collections from cash or the cash receipts. هنزيدهم بنضيف لهم يعني كم كم استلمنا كاش؟ then we will subtract the cash disbursement. بعد نطرح منهم كم دفعنا كاش؟ ونشوف كم عن محصلة في الآخر. إذا المحصلة هذه بتساوي أو أكثر بثلاثة عشر ألف دولار خير وبركة. so we will not need the help of the founder. 
right? Now, if the, the cash, the available cash by the end of the month was less than $23,000, so we should ask, you know, the founder to lend, to, uh, you know, to lend us some money so we can reach this threshold. What's the figure of the benefit? Hello? واضحة دكتور. آه كويس صحيح، الصوت مو واضح عندي. شوف يعني إذا إذا شيء يعني شيء أشكل عليكم على طول توقفونا تقولي خلاص يعني تطلبوا اكسبلانيشن يعني تطلبوا تفسير على طول. أوكي. تخلوا يعني الأمور تتطور لأنه هذا أصعب تشابتر في المقرر كله. فلازم نركزوا فيه كويس. يعني this is so once again I will repeat the steps that you have to do to build the, the cash budget. You will start by the beginning cash balance, the cash you offer for the first month, the first then you will add the cash receipts, the cash you sell them to, then you will subtract the cash disbursements, the cash you sell them to, then you will compute, you know, the available cash by the end of the month. Once you have done this, you will compare this available cash to the threshold fixed by the founder. So the founder has put the condition that the cash should not be less than $23,000. If our available cash is higher than this threshold, so it's good for, for us, right? Now, if the cash is less than $23,000, so we should ask the founder for help. So we should ask him to lend us money so we can, you know, uh, 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 reach this threshold. beginning cash balance. So this is the starting point, right? So this is our starting point, the beginning cash balance. Now we should add plus the cash receipts. So this cash is collected from the customers, from our sales. And these numbers, $105,800 comes from, let's see, uh, sorry, from the sales schedule from the, the A panel, see here. So we have total collection right here. So this is the total amount of money that we have collected during the month of April. And the one right after is the, mo the total amount of money we have collected. So you don't, so please don't confuse this. Uh, 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 you know, this, this number with the sales, right? So this is about how much money you have collected. Kam salamna fa'alayn. And mabi'atna juz'a minha. Taslim cash. Minha juz'a thani bil'ajr. Fahadha, the total collections, bimathil bas, kam salamna mabi'at fa'alayn. Salamna cash minha. Yani b'akhir kul shah. And so on. So we have here for June and July and so on. So, so this is, the total collections of cash from our customers. Now we have to compute. So now you have to compute uh, the total cash available for needs before financing. This means that we should you should add the beginning cash balance plus the collection from customers, the amount of money that we have collected from our customers. So we will have the total cash available for needs before financing. So we have this one plus this one, we should have $128,800, right? Now we will subtract the cash disbursement. So we will subtract this cash disbursements. So our cash disbursements, you know, uh, come from the purchase of merchandise, the payment of wages and commissions, commissions, 
and miscellaneous expenses, which are, you know, uh, uh, other expenses. So, and also the rent. So all these, so the miscellaneous expenses, the rent and the truck purchase, all these ones are given to us. And we have already computed the purchases and the wages and commissions from the panel C and D, this one. C, for B and C, so for B we have the purchases, Y for C we have the wages and commissions schedules. The miscellaneous expenses, uh, as well as the rent and the truck purchase are given to us at the beginning of the exercise. So now we should, you know, add all these numbers together. So all these numbers represent the total disbursements. So these are the total disbursements. Now the next step is, you know, to add also the minimum cash balance desired. So this is the condition put by the founder. So we should have enough money to pay our disbursements and enough money to ensure that the firm will have a minimum cash balance equal to $23,000 each month. See, so we have here the same number. So we have to ensure that we have $23,000 by at the end of each, each month. So this is the total cash needed, which is the total disbursement, this one, plus the minimum cash balance, though these two together will give us the total cash needed. Now we have to compare the total, the, the total cash needed, sorry, to the total cash available. احتياجاتنا هي هذه كم عنا في الشركة من كاش so we clearly see here that we are short of cash محتاجين كاش عنا عاش في الكاش because the cash available is equal to $128,800 why we need $159,735 so the difference between these two we represent the cash needed. So we'll make 128,800 minus 159,735 and we'll get this number, which is the shortage of cash or the lack of cash that we have to finance. So we need an extra cash of $30,935. In order to get this money, we will, as separate by the agreement made between us as managers and the founder, we will need the help of the managers. So we will ask him to lend us money, equal to $30,935. See, so this is the new borrowing. So this is the loan balance, which is the new, new loan that we got from the founder. Now, the new cash balance, this one, will be equal to the excess of total cash minus 30,935 plus the new loan, see? And we will reach the cash balance by the end of April equal to $23,000. So we have respected our agreement with the founder. We have started by having $23,000, and ended by have the same amount in our cash balance in the firm. Now, we will do the same thing for the month of May, June, and July. So for May, we have here the collections from customers, right? Then we'll add, see, the, the cash balance by the end of April is the cash balance by the beginning of May. يعني انتقلنا من آخر أبريل أول ماي. اللي كان آخر أبريل سحبناه معنا الأول ماي ابتدينا به في أشهر ماي. So we'll add the collections from customers 
right, during the month of May. So this, this number, you know, come from, comes from, you know, uh, the panel A. Then by adding this one and this one, we will have the total cash available for needs. See, so we'll add this one plus this one, and we will have the total cash available in the firm. Same thing, we'll subtract the total disbursements. Also, we we'll subtract the minimum cash desired. So, he, he, so here is the total cash needed. So we subtract the total cash needed from the total cash available by the firm. Now, you clearly see here that, see, we have an excess of cash this time. This means that the cash available from the activity of the firm is high enough to cover all our needs plus high enough to produce an excess of total cash, all right? Now, you have to pay attention. This total cash, right, or the excess of total cash will be used to repay a part of the debt that we have contracted from the founder. القرض فوائد القرض كمان أنه لما سلفنا المبلغ هذا هيأخذ عليه فوائد فيه كم الفائدة كم سبت الفائدة بنات لو تذكرون ها آه. كم الفائدة بنات؟ وشو بنات؟ هذا شكل الكورونا أثر عليكم يعني. مم. واحد ونص كم؟ واحد ونص طيب واحد ونص في المية سهل مو بذاك الصعوبة يعني واحد ونص في المية بس طيب So this means that we will have to pay 1.5% of interest on this loan right? طيب كيف راح نسوي الشغله الشغله هذه؟ لو تلاحظوا معي شو عندنا؟ عندنا نيو بروينج ريبيمنت لون بالانس اند انترست ايش معنى الكلام هذا؟ This means that every month we are short of cash يعني الشهر يكون في عندنا نقص في الكاش We will add new borrowing راح نستلف من جديد كويس؟ And every month we have extra cash on the cash we will repay a part of our debt then we have here the loan balance see yani kam tabaqa anna yani min min alqarz ba'd ma akhadna alqarz wa dafa'na wa sadda minu juz' min kam yadhal anna farq and finally we have the interest here so so for the month of april hna kunish kunna akhadna alqarz fi april akhir shahr ashan ghatina biha ajzna fi alcash yani lissa ma rah nadfa' wala shay la interest wala ولا يعني repayment of of principal ندفع أول مرة يعني ال interest الشهر اللي بعد أما أخذنا قرض هذا ثلاثين ألف وتسعمائة خمسة وثلاثين في مايو في أبريل عفوا ندفع عليهم واحد ونصف في المية في شهر مايو اللي هو هاد خلينا نفسر على على البورد 
وضعت من البورد بقى ولا طيب شوف احنا اللي عنا انه في شهر ابريل during ابريل we have contracted a new you know a new debt ممكن نسوي زام شوي على البار عشان نشوف اه دقيقة بس بس اشوف عشان نغير مكان الاوفيس واضحة يا بنات؟ أيوة دكتور واضحة طيب So خلينا نرجع لنا شوية So During the month of April we have contracted a debt equal to $30,935, right? This means that with an interest equal to 1.5%. This means that during the next month, we have to pay interest equal to 30,935 times 0.015, which is 1.5%. And it will be equal to 464. So this is the priority. I'll show you how to do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. During the month of May, we have also an extra cash equal to, let me see, uh, May extra cash 3,300. $35. This means that this extra cash should be, you know, uh, uh, used for different purposes. We all have the back of the word, we have the extra cash. So this means that this extra cash that the firm has produced by the end of May will be used as follows. So this extra cash will be used first to pay the interest. 464, so this is our interest. And the remaining part will be used to repay the debt, a part of the debt. So the remaining part is 3,335 minus 464 equal to uh, 2871. So this will be the repayment or the principal. That's the asset so this how we will you know use this extra extra cash now once we have done this the loan balance will change so the new balance so 
the new loan balance will be modified. So the first of the initial loan balance was equal to 30,935. So we'll subtract the repayment for the principal that we have made by the end of the month of May. And the new loan balance will be, you know, the old one minus the repayment. And it will be equal to 28,064. So every month you have to repeat this process. Every time you produce an extra cash, you will use the extra cash for two purposes, but you have to keep the priority. Have to respect the priority. أول أول يعني أول شيء وآخر أولوية تدفع إيش تدفع الفوائد. وإذا إلى ضرب شيء تدفع إيش جزء من أصل الدين. وبعدين تحسب مرة تطلع مرة ثانية النيو النيو لون بالس أو قرض متبقي بعد ما تم دفع جزء من من القرض القديم. وصل الفكرة ولا بنا. So, doctor, you have to, to recite these three steps every time for, for the, for the, you know, for the uh, next month of July, uh, of June and July. Right. Now you have done this. Here you go, miss. Mm -hmm. So we repeat the same thing for the months of June and July. For June, for example, here. So we have a total beginning cash balance, $23,000. These are the total of collections from customers. And the first one plus the second one will give the cash available for needs before financing. Now we repeat, we repeat the same thing of here, the total disbursements and the minimum cash balance that we have to, you know, uh, to have by the end of the, uh, the month. This will give us the total cash needed. Now we'll subtract the cash available from the cash needed. So you can clearly see here that once again, we have produced more cash than we actually need. So this will allow us to have an excess of total cash. Now, we repeat the same thing for as we have done during the month of May. So this extra cash should uh, be used first to repay the interest. So 421. So this number is equal to the former loan balance times 1.5%. So we'll multiply this one, see, by 1.5%. So to get this number. At the same time, we still have an extra cash. So the extra cash will be used to the repayment of the part of the debt. And this will be the new loan balance after we have repaid $21,199. Once again, we'll have a final cash balance equal to $23,000.
So this one will be the beginning cash balance for the next month and so on. Now, for the final month, July, we have a total cash available, 147, $200. And we have a cash need equal to $133,745, which means that we have an excess of total cash of 13,455. Same thing, we'll begin by paying the interest. So the interest here, are related to the previous loan balance, and we still ha and uh, we still have see, you know, uh, enough money to repay back the remaining of the debt. خلاص خلصنا يعني دفعنا سددنا كل الدبت علينا صار عنا new loan balance صفر. يعني ما عاد عنا ولا قرض للفاوندر دفعنا له قرض وكل. And plus we still have extra financing. So this extra financing, right, will be added to the cash available by the beginning of the month. And this is our new cash balance by the end of the March month of July. So for the first time by July, we have enough money to pay back all our debt, interest, all cash needs, plus we are able, we have been able to, you know, produce an extra cash equal to $6,968. This extra cash has been added to the beginning cash balance. And for the first time, we have more money than the threshold that we have fixed at the beginning with the founder. What the hell So this is about, you know, how to build the cash budget. Now, let's move to the next one. So the cash budget shows ventures projected cash resets and disbursements over a forecast period, right? So cash budgets often are estimated monthly for up to one year period. Uh, so part D, that we have already, uh, you know, just treated right now. Of table 6.2 illustrates a cash budget for PDC company covering the period from April through through July. Now, once we have determined our cash budget, we can now determine the forecasted or the pro forma financial statements, whether uh, you know uh, it is the balance sheet statements or the income statement. And he bought the cash budget. نسوي الخطوة اللي بعدها صرنا نعمل توقعاتنا المركز المالي والقائمة الدخل. So we start by the company projected income statements. So we have here the sales. So we already have the information about sales since the beginning of the exercise. It was given for uh, to us, right? So sales for March, April, May, June, and July. Then we will, you know, subtract the cost of goods sold. Remember. We have, you know, calculated the cost of goods sold when we have treated the inventory issue. So all these numbers are also available for us. Now the sales minus cost of goods sold will give us the gross margin. Then we'll compute the operating expenses, which are wages and commissions, rent, مصاريف uh, متفرقة miscellaneous expenses insurance اللي هو اللي اسمه التأمين كمان عنا معطى عنا 460 بكل شهر then the depreciation which is also given to us now the total of wages, rent, miscellaneous expenses insurance and depreciation will give us the total operating expenses which means that now we'll have all we have just to you know compared the gross margin to the total operating expenses. So we will subtract this one from the gross margin and we'll have the income from operations, right? So these are the income from operations, what we call the EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes. Once we have done this, we will, you know, 
subtract the interest expense. Remember, the interest expense interest expense was calculated during the cash budget. So all you have to do is just to collect this information from the cash budget and put it, you know, in the company projected uh, income statement. And that's it. And finally, we have the, you know, uh, uh, the net income. Since, you know, uh, it is given to us as information for the size of the company is exonerated from tax. tax And that's it. So this is how we can build, you know, uh, uh, the PDC company projected income statement from the previous information. Okay, so let's move to the next one. How to build the company now projected balance sheet. So it is also very, very easy to do since we have all the required information. Uh, See, so now we'll build the balance sheet or the pro forma balance sheet. So we'll just adjust the initial balance sheet from the month of March, excluding the cash account for each of the four months of change. Then I have to make sure that the equity account reflects each month's net income. So for example, this is for the month of March. So all these numbers were given to us in the financial you know, uh, uh, balance sheet. Now, for April, we will adjust these numbers according to you know our uh, uh, what we have done for uh, during the, ca the cash budget. For example, here for the cash budget, see when we go back. See, when we go back to the cash budget, these were the beginning cash balance, right? And the end of the cash balance for each month. So for April, by the end of the month, we have $23,000. So we will just, we have, all we have to do just to report or to move this number from the cash budget and use it in the balance sheet statement. See, so this is where we got this number. Same thing for July. For, for July, for example, it becomes 29,487. So from where we, do we get do we get this number? So from the cash budget here, see by the end of July we have a cash balance twenty nine thousand four hundred eighty seven. So we have all we have to do is just to move this number and use it in the balance sheet statement. Now, same thing for the accounts receivable. So these ones are the part of the sales that was were not collected cash during the same month and that. Have, uh, that you know have been reported to the next month. For example, let's verify from where we get this number, forty-six thousand dollars of April. So we have to go back to the A panel, the sales schedule. So this is the month of April. So we have credit sales and cash sales. So the credit sales may be at the agile. $46,000, all right? So we will find these numbers here, $46,000. See, so now we are just, you know, trying to find the right information and put it in the right place. And that's it, because we have already computed all the required information. Same thing for May, June, and July. Now the merchandise inventory, same thing. All you have to do is go to 
you know, to the purchase schedule, see, and you have the ending inventory. المخزون بنهاية كل شهر. بس you have just to copy this number and paste it in the balance sheet. So these are the merchandise inventory. See, so they, they uh, so all these numbers come from the panel C. Repaid insurance. So for this one, since we are so this see four thousand one hundred forty. Since we are paying four hundred and sixty dollars uh, uh, of insurance every month, this means that this number will go down by will go down by $460 every month. See, so the, this number three, this one, the 3,680 is simply equal to this one minus, minus the insurance that you are paying every month, 460, and that's it. See, so it is a decreasing number from one month to the next one. Now we have just to sum up all these numbers to get the total current assets. Now for the plant, and uh, which is uh, uh, long-term assets, so we have the equipment. This was for the month of March. And remember, we have, you know, uh, 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 purchased a truck for $6,900. So this means that for the April, we have to add, we have to add, sorry. We have to add six thousand nine hundred dollars, which is the value of the truck, and we will get this number. Now, for the next month, May, June, and July, we didn't have any further purchases, so that's why the equipment value remained the same. Now, the accumulated depreciation since the depreciation of one month is $1,150. So we should just add these numbers to every accumulated depreciation. So the accumulated number will grow up by $1,150 each month. Now we have the net property, plant and equipment, which is the equipment, fixture and other minus accumulated depreciation. As simple as that. See, so all we have to do here is to make equipment minus accumulated depreciation and we'll get the net property. Now, total assets is simply equal to total current assets plus the net property. And we'll do the same thing for the accounts payable here and the accrued wage and commission payable. So the accounts payable comes from the C panel. which is the amount of payments or purchases that we will pay credit. Hmm. This one, 50% of this month's purchase, which will be, you know, credit. So all we have to do is just to same thing to copy this number and paste it in the right, the right place, which is accounts payable. Same thing for the accrued wage and commission payables. يعني الرواتب بلسا مترتبة علينا حسبنا في ال هذه هي when wages. Okay, this one. See fifty percent. So. It have to do
$11,500 for the month of April. We have to report this number into the accrued liabilities in the balance sheet. See this, this number for April, May, June, and July. All these ones come from the panel C. Uh, the loan also, it can, so this, these numbers come from the cash budget. So it, this was the loan that we have contracted from the founder uh, at the beginning, uh, sorry, by the end of April. And for May, this is the new balance loan after we have paid a part of our debt. Same thing for June and for July. So we have total current liabilities. Now, the final thing is the owner's equity. See? So the owner's equity here is changing. So the modification of the owner's equity comes from, you know, what we call the retained earnings or the earnings of each, of each you know, each month. For example, here, by the end of the month of March, we have $881,585, right? Now, let's go to the, you know, to the, uh, to the income statement of April. April. So for April, we have a negative net income equal to $460. This means that this deficit or this loss will be, you know, uh, 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 taken from the equity. الربح زاد 75 79 نرجع هون راح تلاقوا انه الاونرز اكويتي زادت انه الزياده هذه في الربح ضفناها حكم ملكيه المساهمين سو ذا فاينل بوينت از ذات اور ذا بوتم لاين از يو هاف تو ادجست يو نو ذا اونرز اكويتي باي ذا اند اوف ايتش مانث باي ذا فاليو اوف ذا نت انكم اف ذا نت انكم از ا لوس this means that the owner's equity have to go down. Now, if the net income is a benefit, this means that the owner's equity has to go up. And that's it. So here is how to build the cash budget in different manner. Uh, so we'll skip this, this part. So this is, you know, uh, the final of uh, or the end of the first part of the sixth chapter. Any questions? So now we have learned how, uh, you know, to use information available for us to build uh, what we call the cash budget, then to build the pro forma income statement and the pro forma, you know, uh, uh, balance sheet. As well, Banat. Now, the final thing though, so before moving to, you know, to the next part of the chapter, let's do some exercise. So let's try to do the first and second exercise, Bennett. 
So for the first one, so we'll consider the same PDC, you know, example, right? So the short-term financial planning. The PDC company was described earlier in this chapter, referred to the PDC company's projected monthly operating schedules in table 6.2. So PDC sales are projected to be $80,000 in September 2011. Prepare PDC sales schedules, purchases schedule, purchase schedule, and wage schedules for August. So see here, it's August, not September. So please correct it. So it is, you know, uh, uh, August, not September. Prepare a cash budget for August 2011 for PDC and describe how the forecast affects the end of month cash balance. So this is page 224. So now all we have to do is just to continue. The table of PDCs. So remember, we have done the forecast from, uh, uh, you know, from April through July. Now we'll make the forecast for the month of August, August 2011. So you are asked once again, you are asked to, to, to prepare the sales schedule, the purchase schedule, the wage schedule for August. See, remember the panel A, B, and C. So we have done it from April through July. Now you are asked to do it by yourselves for the month of uh, uh, you know, August 2011. And then you have to prepare the cash budget for August the income statement, as well as, you know, the, uh, uh, the balance sheet statement. Yeah, that. So we keep the same information, except that uh, now we have a new information about the sales for August 2011, مطلوب منكم الحين بنات ترجع سووا هذا كل بس شهر واحد بس sales schedule the purchase schedule the wages and commission schedule بعد خلص هذا كله نسوي ال cash budget هذا for just one month the month of August Ah, so I have to sell. 